right guys so i wanted to go ahead and make this video here because i know there are quite a few of you out there who are hardcore you know vim or emacs users and when it comes to emacs for one i'm just going to go ahead and be completely honest with everyone here if you're an emacs user and you're going to watch this video and you're like hey you should try emacs no i i won't try emacs no uh, i know the keyboard shortcut defaults are horrific like awful for your fingers and just for just for your hand in general and uh, I'm I'm not interested in learning Emacs. No. So I choose to use something like Atom when it comes to scripting and stuff like that for, for me personally. Let, let me go ahead and explain my use case too. I am someone who is making a game inside of Unity and I'm using C Sharp as, as the scripting language that I'm using. And... I need something where I'm because when it comes to my scripting and the way I do a lot of my scripting is a lot of the times I'm taking the logic or how things are set up from one script to another. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good example here. I might, I might want to use this if statement and just change flashbangs to something else inside of the breathe script um, with something like Adam sublime, VS Codium or VS Code. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what VS Codium is, you should. VS Codium is literally VS Code just with all of the Microsoft telemetry just removed on out of there. So it's it's really great. Um, but I I'm tired of like it's not really that I'm tired. It's just I'm done with using VS Code and VS Code like applications. I I would like to just distance myself even further from anything that Microsoft makes. Now, with that being said, I chose to use Atom here. Um, I know some people have problems with it because it's an electron based app. I could give two shits less. It, it runs fine. It's snappy. Um, also another thing that I really like about it is after you install it, when you start opening up your own scripts and stuff, it is going to ask you like it, it essentially has what's it's called a telemetry consent page will pop up and you have to manually choose to either allow allow to send you know telemetry back to them or you can say no i chose no i i do really like that that's not just there it's up front it's like hey hey we could benefit from tele telemetry from you if you like if you're okay with sending it to us I really like that. That that's that's fantastic. Now, next atom over here, we have just this is just Vim. Um, for those of you who are, you know, you've been using Linux for a while, you know this is Vim. It's just it's Vim. There's there's nothing really special going on. It's 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 just Vim. But why don't I just use Vim for all of my scripting needs? Well, Vim is great f when it comes to changing a text document or changing a config file or hell, even, you know, changing something about a bash script, making a bash script. Vim is fine. V Vim is a fine text editor. It, it really is. There's no problem with it. It's not like I couldn't use it. However, it's just, it's not, it, it's, it's not for my use case inside of unity. I can set it up so that when I double click on a script inside of unity, it will open up a program. I can't really do that with, with Vim. It, it's not really a thing. And then also when it comes to, um, copying and pasting stuff, I understand that inside of Vim, there like it's not I just understand, I know and can do it. I can copy and paste entire lines and stuff like that. But when it comes to taking, let's say, this right here, just copying that and pasting it in Breathe it, in the other script that I have open, it's far easier 
inside of something like Adam than compared to Vim. Like inside of Vim, I'm going to have to set a certain mode, like visual block mode or whatever, then then copy this and then go into a whole nother terminal window. Or even if it's it, even if I was using something like Tmux or whatever, it's 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 just not as efficient because also for me to open up a new text document, you can see that that command. I have to I have to vim into the entire, you know, or I mean, I, I would have to CD into my scripts folder. So I'd have to enter instead of vim CD all the way into scripts and then just open up any script that I needed from there. It, it's just it it's not it's not. Uh, it's not my preferred way of doing stuff when I'm scripting inside of Unity. The reason I'm making this video is Vim and Emacs and stuff, they have their place. They have their place, but they're not... There is a reason to use this type of text editor or this type of IDE, whatever you want to call it. There are reasons and they are Good. Now, I, I know Emacs, Tmux, and stuff like that. There are ways of getting Vim or, uh, hell, you could even do Nano. I mean, there are ways of getting any terminal text editor to function the same way as Atom. But why? At, at that point, just instead of spending two hours trying to get Vim to work for my use case just install something that's meant to serve that use case. And if any of you are, you know, heavy into scripting or you want to make a game, something like that, for me, I think Adam is one of the best scripting text editors I've found. It's, it's really nice. Um, this is how it looks out of the box. It just looks amazing. It looks great. It makes sense just everything about it is I literally installed it. I didn't have to install any plugins or anything like that for, for me, I don't need a ton of help when it comes to scripting. I just, I want something that is like this, that's colorized, makes it easy to look at, easy to understand. And that's a, a really, that's all about it. And then as long as I can have multiple scripts open at the same time, easily bounce through them, um, visually copy and paste like this. I do like, I, I just, I prefer uh, now, obviously I would just do control C here and then paste it somewhere else, but you, you get my point. Like it's, it's just, it's nice to be able to visually highlight something very quick, very easily and paste it in somewhere else in Vim Emacs. I know that's a thing, but it's, I don't know. It's just, it's not set up to do that out of the box. It's not set up to do it easily, quickly. And yeah, I don't know. So really, I guess the point of this video is to ask those of you out there who are hardcore Vim and Tmux users, Emacs users, stuff like that. For those of you out there who, who are those people, please tell me why it would be worth it for me to spend any time setting up Vim or Tmux or Emacs to do what Adam does out of the box in seconds. Is there a reason to get, you know, what I'm doing here done in the terminal? Cause I don't, I don't see the benefit. Um, I don't, I, I'm one of those people that I do appreciate. I appreciate programs and software that are made for, to serve different functions. Vim is an all around good text editor, uh, for your terminal. It can do it, it, for, for, honestly, for most, for most text editing needs, Vim is plenty. There are certain use cases where it makes sense to use something else. And that's really what I'm talking about here when it comes to Atom. It's a different use case. It's meant, it's meant for where you are jumping between lots of scripts. You're, you're managing a whole bunch of different stuff at once. I think it makes sense. Vim is not made for that. Vim is made to edit a document and edit it. I wouldn't say well is the way that it's designed. It's, it's meant to edit the, the text document in a 
unique way, but a very fast way. Like if you, as long as you go through the Vim tutor, you can, you can edit a, a text document inside of your terminal very quickly, very quickly. Um, but, and also I will go ahead and say all with the keyboard, you don't, you don't need a mouse, but when it comes to me scripting inside of unity, doing some C sharp scripting, I do like to be able to visually copy a block or, you know, a block of text, you know, just there, there are certain reasons why I want something like Adam. And really, I guess the only question is, is do you, do you, see a reason to ever use something like Atom? Or are you someone who just uses Vim and Tmux and Emacs for everything? Let me know and explain why. Um, explain the the benefit that I would see spending the time to get those to serve this function, if there's any benefit. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Had a good time making it. Um, uh, it's just good to be back on Linux and thank all of you guys for the support that you've shown and continue to show me. It's, it's awesome. Thank you guys. If you want to hear and find out anything more about what I'm doing, you can check the description. I've got some of my links down there as well as you'll find my website, which has a um, update on Never Alone, which is the game I'm making. If you don't know anything about it, you can check out the website as well as the Discord link for our dedicated Never Alone server. Uh, Discord server is down there. So you can check that out. And yeah, there, there'll be plenty of information. Uh, it's getting work done. And today is July 4th. And so I'm planning on doing a happy Merica stream just working on Never Alone here before too long. So hopefully you'll be there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.